Welcome back. Well, uh, to shed more light on uh, the President's visit to the United Arab Emirates, uh, we have the pleasure to have this phone with Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, the writer, journalist, and political analyst. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you and glad to be with you. Thank you so much. Well, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, how do you see the timing uh, of the visit of uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi to the United uh, Arab Emirates? It's about time to reunite the Arabic situation. Uh, right afterwards, the important uh, meeting, uh, the, the important uh, meetings uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi has held with his counters in, uh, in, the, in the Indian summit. The, the international summit in India, uh, G20. And of course, here comes uh, the time for the Arabic nations, the Arabic leaderships, to uh, reconsider too many uh, directions these, these should take uh, into a, a more united uh, situation, a more united front towards the international challenges that the whole world is facing right now. I, th I believe it's time for the Arabic nations, for the Arabic uh, leaderships, gather all around one purpose, one target, which is standing up as one front, one Arabic front. And I, and I mean politically, I mean uh, economically, I mean uh, militarily, uh, towards the challenges that are opposed to the nation, the Arabic nation, the Arabic East. I believe it's uh, a matter of time before we face more threats all around us. I'm talking about uh, economical threats because I believe that, that, uh, that wars in the, in the meantime uh, doesn't take, don't take the, the shape uh, of military, military shape, uh, but uh, more like economical wars. So I believe it's time to reunite our visions towards the, 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 the significant uh, projects, economical projects uh, that are being planned to be uh, held in the, in, the, in the territory in the Arabic East. It's time to, to, to unite the vision, the, an, an, an Arabic vision. We shouldn't uh, act like separate islands. Egypt, right afterwards, the, the, the June 30 revolution, has declared its invitation to the Arabic Gulf countries and other Arabic, uh, Gulf, uh, Arabic countries to start uh, what's called the Arabic army, one Arabic army. This is very important and very significant uh, part of the vision, which express the united vision economically and uh, politically that we are seeking as Arabic nations right now, we should be united, not, not to be divided. There are no place for conflicts between uh, brothers. I believe that the greater brother in the, in the, in the Arabic East, which is, which is Egypt, should be handed over the leadership of the, of the whole territory, the whole uh, country's uh, leadership. Egypt has proven that leadership in its own uh, way by helping uh, the, 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 the Libyan nation in the catastrophe that has hit the, uh, the, uh, the country with uh, the greatest aid campaign uh, that ever the world has witnessed. Yes. And I believe this, that uh, although we are not the richest country in the, in the, in the Arabic world, but we have uh, accomplished the mission on the highest level, international levels. That express also the, uh, how Egypt is only that, the, the, the power worthy of this leadership. Yes, of course, yeah. our brothers in, uh, in Emirates uh, appreciate the, the, the Egyptian role, and of course we have too much in common to be discussed between the, the two leaders. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, writer, journalist, and political analyst. Thank you very much for joining us uh, over uh, the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, a short break, and I'm going to be back with you. Egypt opens up to the world.